Now we've already fixed this first sentence, which as you may recall was a bit of a mess, but we fixed that one, and now we want to do this one. It takes them is a way that we start sentences frequently when we are talking to somebody else. But it's not really a good way to write when we're being uh, a writer because we don't necessarily know that our audience has followed the argument all ahead of time. So it's better to start with a person. Anyone who invests 10,000 hours in practice time I see that you have the word time here Anyone who invests 10,000 hours in practice time in a given activity usually becomes a professional in that activity. Now, if we have anyone here, we should have something similar to anyone here as opposed to just you, because it's best to have a paragraph follow the same structure all the way through. That much time invested shows real commitment to the field of study. And you might mention the name of the author who proposed this idea, which is Malcolm Gladwell, wrote about this in the book Outliers. And because it's a book, it should either be underlined or, given that we have slightly better technology than when I was in school, it should be bold-faced. Alright, so I hope that helps you figure out how to write this way in the future. And remember that it's always a good idea to break up uh, you're writing into shorter sentences and it is also a good idea to state as clearly as you can uh, usually with multiple sentences exactly what it is that you mean.